Hi, my name is Professor Cruz Medina, and one of the questions that I'm often asked about is, what makes a good, well-organized paragraph? So, one of the acronyms I like to use to help thinking about this is PI. PI stands for Point, Illustration, and Explanation. Now, what these all refer to, with our point, we're thinking about what is our central claim, or even our topic sentence, right? That's how we traditionally think about it. An illustration then is our evidence. What evidence is there to support our claim? And we often see this in terms of what quote might be integrated to help demonstrate the point. And our explanation then is our analysis. And our analysis then says how and why does our evidence support our claim as we say it does? So taking a look at an example of a well-organized paragraph, even though it's a bit large for this particular glass, we can still see some of the characteristics that are demonstrated here. So we can clearly see that it begins with this argument that says, the repetition of the green light demonstrates not only Carraway's desire to emulate the life of Gatsby, but the light symbolizes Gatsby's own desire for wealth. So this phrase not only tends to sort of be a way of referring back to what's come before. So we tend to think of our transition sentences or transitional phrases in our topic sentences. And then we also see the argument that's coming in here about wealth being connected to the light, which happens to be the claim or the point here of this particular paragraph. And then we can see in the next part, it's set up with, in chapter nine, Caraway becomes aware of how Gatsby is driven by a desire when Fitzgerald writes. So this right here is a nice little introductory phrase. And that's sort of setting us up to say, we are going to have a great quote following this. And then we have a quote that says, Gatsby believed in the green light, the orgiastic future, the year by year, decades or recedes before us, it eluded us, but no matter. So and that of course provides our nice illustration in the form of a quote. And then what we see here broken down is the rest of the analysis. And the analysis, we can note some things without reading too far deeply into it. Some small phrases that we can see taken directly from the larger quote that happened up here as a way of referring to how and why that evidence helps explain what the point says it does. And I think when we effectively do so with our analysis, we achieve almost a level of insight, which is what we're trying to get to for our reader and make them understand why this particularly matters. And something I want you to keep in mind when you're looking at these paragraphs is seeing how these paragraphs are sort of broken down in terms of the point being maybe 15 to 25%. Same thing with the quote maybe being 15 to 25% with the analysis being somewhere between you know 50 to 60% of all of this paragraph. And that's a good way of breaking down to make sure that you're not having too much quote in there, that you're not being able to explain it well enough, or perhaps having too many arguments happening in one paragraph. Thanks for watching.